Welcome back in to another episode of the TBT Podcast. Some big news in the Chiefs' kingdom after the win over the Chargers. We're going to be going over to that and some of the news regarding Nick Bolton and Justin Ross. Plus, we're going to be looking ahead to the Denver Broncos. This is the TBT Podcast. 65 toss by our trap. That might pop wide open, Rats. Well, some big news this week regarding the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, some not so great news as Justin Ross was arrested um, for property damage and maybe a little bit of domestic violence going on. We don't have 100% of the details, but uh, according to what I've been reading is that he smashed his girlfriend's or ex-girlfriend's phone and reportedly, I'm going to say that allegedly, was dragging her around the room. Um, all the details aren't out yet. They say there's an eyewitness to this all. I don't know what the witness has said or anything like that, but this is obviously um, it's just a you know, a, a, a bad story to hear in general. Uh, you don't want to hear this from Justin Ross, the guy who was undrafted free agent. A lot of guy, a lot of people root for Justin Ross to get in the game more, play more. He's a guy I personally like. Um, so we hope this is not true and uh, it all gets resolved and, you know, everything can be okay with Justin Ross. Because um, you do hate to hear um, news like this from Justin Ross. But yeah, he re- appeared in court today. Uh, Tuesday afternoon. Um, so hopefully, again, you know, he'll have a, a, another court appearance and stuff like that. Hopefully this isn't true in this, you know, news um, is all hearsay. And, um, you know, we can move on from this. Um, in other news, Nick Bolton. We all saw Nick Bolton versus the Chargers game. Yes, the, the linebacker, one of the leaders on the defense, he will be out probably until December, it's looking like. He'll need surgery on his wrist. He has a dislocated wrist. Um, not something where he's going to miss a whole lot of time. Um, it, it's not. It, if this was last year, I'd be a little bit more concerned. But Drew Tranquil, um, having Tranquil out there is 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 it's like one A and one B. I mean, they're getting a guy that can absolutely play. Yes, we're going to miss Nick Bolton. He was second in tackles. He was a couple tackles away last year from leading the league in tackles. So he's a guy. Yeah, I will miss. Um, but. It'll be he'll be fine during December. It'll be the thick of things, even though we do have our our tough stretch coming up for the Chiefs. Um, but before we get into that, we have to talk about what transpired versus the Los Angeles Chargers. I was about this close to saying the San Diego Chargers. Um, the Kansas City Chiefs get another win over LA. It felt like it was going to be. That classic, like, oh, it's going to be a battle. You know, can the Chiefs get it done? Um, it's going to be like a last second field goal. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be another like walk off Kelsey, um, stuff like that. And it just, it, it kind of had that feel to it um, in the game. And as this, the Chiefs go on, it's, It's crazy to me to see um, that the AFC is just kind of wrapped up. It's just kind of wrapped up in general um, by week, not even the halfway point of the season. Because you're six and one, three games ahead of the Raiders. You're two games ahead of the Broncos. You're another two games, almost three games ahead of the Chargers. It's crazy to see, you know, from when I was growing up, this is how the Chargers were or, you know, the Broncos as well, how it was just they dominated the division. And now the Chiefs just have their own division wrapped up by week seven. And they could pretty much have the AFC walked up. They're six and one. They really should be seven and one if Kadarius Tony could have cut a ball week one. And, and a lot of Chiefs fans on here were concerned about the offense week one. I wasn't the type of guy that was just – again, I had some concerns with receiver position, but I also said, again, they're going to figure things out. 
I, I like the way Rasheed Rice is playing. Again, I'm going to keep saying it. Rasheed Rice is that guy. Four touchdowns on this season. Continues to play well. I mean, every time he touches the ball, I feel like he's making plays. He had a bit of a drop problem earlier in the season, but he fixed that. Uh, he was shredding people man-to-man. I know the Chargers did not play a lot of man-to-man this last game. They were playing a lot of the zone. That's why El Travador had a game. Travis Kelsey has more yards versus the Chargers since 2021 than he does versus the Raiders and Broncos combined since 2021. Travis Kelsey is not only the greatest Chiefs tight end, but he is the greatest NFL tight end of all time. You can pick Gronk, you can pick Gonzalez, you can pick Gates, but it's Travis Kelsey. You can talk about his, he doesn't have the blocking ability. The main thing he does, when you look up career stats for tight ends, their yards and touchdowns pop up. And he, at the end of the day, is going to have the most probably out of any tight end in NFL history. This connection between him and Mahomes is absolutely deadly. That's why I think Travis Kelsey is the greatest tight end to ever play. I mean, look again what he's doing to these defenses. When Taylor Swift's in the crowd, she needs to come to every game. I know she's not going to be at the games anymore um, because she'll be on tour or whatever it is. She won't be at the games anymore. So Travis Kelsey, he, we, we need her back. I know I was opposed to showing Taylor Swift and talking about Taylor Swift all the time. But we, we need we, we, we need her at all the games if that's how tra- uh, Travis is going to play. So I, I think he absolutely shredded the Chargers in their zone look. They played a lot of zone. and He was just consistently open. Uh, but going back to Rice, I think Rishi Rice uh, is just playing just really good football. He's playing really good football. I would still like to see the Chiefs go out and get another receiver. Um, and there's some receivers out there. I, I, I like McCall Hardman back. McCall Hardman, you want to talk about that. He had that big kick return on uh, – that, that uh, fourth down punt from the Chargers. Um, so I, I thought he had a good game. I mean, he had a big third down catch in the red zone um, to set us up. Uh, I like Hardman back. I don't think everyone's kind of like, oh, we got like a deep threat now. I'm like, I don't like, I don't really think that's the case. Um, yeah, I, I just think it's, it's good to have a familiar face um, back in uh, Kansas City. Uh, for Patrick Mahomes. Um, McCall Hardman, again, he's not going to be a guy where it's like, oh, now he's going to kind of take over the one, you know, the number one receiving position. No, I don't I don't see that um, happening for McCall Hardman. But I do think it's good to have a familiar face back in Kansas City. Uh, can return punts like that. Um, so I'm excited to see that. Um, but I do want them to go get another receiver. Even if it's a guy like Juju Smith, if the Raiders or excuse me, if the Patriots are dumping guys and they're like, you know what, we'll send Juju Smith back to um, back to Kansas City. I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Um, another guy I want to talk about, he's not getting enough love, is Mike Edwards. I think Mike Edwards is having a phenomenal, a phenomenal year in Kansas City, being a ball hockey. I think he already has an interception on the year. He was a great pickup from Tampa. I really like the addition of Mike Edwards. He's playing absolutely phenomenal. I mean, the defense in general is playing phenomenal. Another week in a row. Teams that just cannot score more than 21. The only team to score 21 on us was the Lions. And that was week one. We didn't even have Chris Jones. We didn't have Travis Kelsey. This Chief team has been top three. I know a lot of people like to, oh, yeah, they're okay. They're pretty good. No, the, the, the Chargers offense is good. They may not have a good defense, but the Chargers' offense is good. The Chiefs' defense shut them down in the second half. Shut them down. So this Chiefs' team is defense is only getting better. I know they just saw Nick, lost Nick Bolton, but Charles Amenehu had a sack, two tackles for a loss. Charles Amenehu came in first game, boom, ready to go. And then you know they're thinking about adding uh, Karlofta or excuse me, Frank Clark. I would love that. Another, real, another rotational guy. One trade I've seen a, a couple people say um, 
and I saw this on ESPN. I can't remember who said it. They said the Chiefs going after Daniel Hunter um, if the uh, if the Vikings are still trying to trade him by the deadline. Another tight the it doesn't help because the 49ers just beat the or excuse me the Vikings just beat the 49ers. But I would like to see that if they don't go get a receiver, go get Daniel Hunter. Just overload on defense because the Chiefs can win some games. 23, 17, 20, you know, 21, 14. They can win some games like this. They absolutely can. They're starting to run the ball a little bit better. I thought Pacheco is getting a lot better in the passing situations. Um, a lot better in the passing situations. So and the old line, yeah, they're still at times they're they're not giving up a lot of sack. They're giving up a lot of penalties. They're putting Patrick Mahomes sometimes in bad situations. Um but I think we also saw Patrick Mahomes, and Pat, excuse, Patrick Mahomes kind of find his groove in this last game uh, and really get going. He really did. He kind of he found his groove, throwing the ball down the field. So I like what I saw from Patrick Mahomes this last game. Um, and I think it's it's good to see them play like this first because the Chargers, you know, you may think, oh, they're a record or whatever, but they got some playmakers on the team. And it's always like I feel like a confidence booster when we beat the Chargers just as an organization. Um, just because they have kind of been the most competitive team with us, uh, really in our history. Like, yeah, you have the Raiders rivalry, you have the Broncos rivalry, but like those teams, like they, we were either stomping them in the ground or they were either stomping us in the ground. The team that has been the most competitive with us, if you really look at it, um, was the Chargers. Even in the early '60s and '70s, the Chargers were the best, the better team than the Raiders at times, definitely the Broncos. But it was just more of a rivalry with the Raiders and with the Broncos. But the, it's always up to like your confidence boost. Now they go into Denver, um, right, where I think the, the offense, uh, excuse me, the offense should um, the offense should click even more. The offense should click even more versus this, uh, versus this um, Broncos teams as I get the hiccups. Um because the Broncos' defense is historically bad right now. It's historically bad. So I think the Chiefs can go into to Denver, and I know they kind of kind of a defensive game last time. But Denver is just – they're a depleted team. Kansas City should go into Denver and look to put up big numbers. Mahomes just put up big numbers. They should go in here looking to put up big, big numbers. Um, I'm going to have more – really during this week about the Broncos game. We have a special guest on this week talking over the Kansas City Chiefs and Denver Broncos. Make sure if you guys don't have it, you guys still go check out that last episode with uh, Jason Dunn. Go listen to it, guys. It's a great listen. Uh, Whoa, I got the hiccups. That's a great listen, guys. Uh, We don't only just talk about this Chargers game, but we preview a lot of the games ahead. So please make sure you guys go check out the TPT podcast on Instagram and on TikTok. We post on TikTok over there. If you guys want great NFL content every day, make sure you go to Jaden and Lawler for on TikTok as well to check that out. I promise you I won't have the hiccups on there, but I have the hiccups right now. So, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Make sure you guys, again, also go check out Jaden's jerseys. They're getting awesome shirts like this as well. Go support your Kansas City Chiefs. Get a jersey, get a shirt, get a hat. Go rock your Kansas City Chiefs at your friend's house because he likes the Broncos or one of these teams that aren't as good as as not as good as the Chiefs. So I will see you guys later on in the week for more of a preview for the Denver Broncos versus the Kansas City Chiefs.